Hey guys, this is Greg here at Underground Graphics. Today we're going to do another install for you guys. Uh, we've got our Area 51 Bronco uh, and we're going to be doing a new kit called the Boss L. So this is going to be kind of a shortened version of that Boss C-Stripe that we're so used to seeing. Um, this Boss L is going to be coming down right off the mirror and it's going to be a pretty thick stripe. So it's going to come down here and then just follow that rocker back. We're going to offer that kind of as our standard matte black with the reversed pinstripe. This is going to show the body color in this. This one we're going to give back to Bronco Outfitters and we're going to match that pinstripe to the wheels and be doing a matte gunmetal on top of that. So the one we're going to install will be a two layer kit. Um, this one as well, while the kit is just sides only, we do have a matching hood for that, which would be optional. And again, we're going to have that matte black with that matte gunmetal pinstripe that matches the thickness on that uh, side kit. So let's get started. I have got the Bronco prepped. We did a uh, alcohol water solution. Again, I like to use 10% alcohol, 90% water. Put that in a 16 ounce bottle, mix it up real good. Just make sure there's no contaminants on that. Uh, no ceramic coating. Um, give us a call if you have ceramic coating. There is a trick to kind of get that to tack, but you do want to do that coating after the vinyl graphic install. Um, Anyway, as well, we're going to go ahead and get started. This is that kit. Uh, this will be the driver's side that we'll be working on here. And I believe this is so it's really just three pieces. That's that hood, which is optional. But this is going to be those three pieces. This is going to be your rear door, that front door, and a little piece that goes up on that front fender. This will be available for two doors as well, although we haven't test fitted that. It is designed. We just need one in so we can do a quick install on that. But uh, yeah, let's get started. You know, I love my masking tape. I'm gonna take my squeegee. Um, I use a soft squeegee. We do provide a hard squeegee with you with in, in that kit. Um, I think we should have the felt tips, uh, the felt edges on the site soon. If not, um, you can use a microfiber or even just use a soft shirt, wrap that edge. And again, that's only for when you're on the vinyl itself. You can use that hard edge on the transfer paper as this is now. That's that mask that's sitting on top of the vinyl. That's so we don't scratch that vinyl up when we install. But once we take that off, if you need to go back and work anything out, you are going to want that soft edge on that squeegee. All right, so let's go ahead and kind of see if we can get this thing going. I'm going to give another quick wipe down real quick. This has been sitting for just a little bit. And while my guys have designed this, I have not done this install yet. So if I mess up, I'm going to blame somebody else. But no, this really shouldn't be too bad. And again, if, if I'm doing it for the first time, you're doing it for the first time. If I can do it, you can do it. So if I haven't yet said it yet, um, thanks again for those who have liked and subscribed. Uh, here soon, we should be hitting 1,000 subscribers. When we do, we'll be giving away... If it's 250 or 500, we're giving away something really good. Um, that way you can get a kit through us. Uh, we also are going to offer that for custom services as well. So be sure and like and subscribe. Again, we're really just concerned about that bottom area and right up to that top. So we're going to go ahead and just make sure, get our fitment first. So right to this bottom line, we're going to hit in the bottom of this crease. You got about a three inch rocket right here. This is going to sit right on that line here. So I'm going to go ahead and tape. It looks like I got about a quarter inch to overlap that edge. Let's come up and see where we're at here. And again, right there on that line. So I'm going to go ahead and tape that. See right here. And this one we're gonna come up just a little bit. So I want to be right under that trim. And 
And that little triangle piece that was taped to that, so you know which way that goes, is that little corner right there. And again, that's going to overlap a little bit because that's going to sit right back and hit right there. So I'm going to go ahead and tape that. We'll do that after the fact, but again, we know where that's going to be. And let's go check those rear pieces. All right, so again, this overlap it's going to be right to this door seam, and that's going to be what tucks right in. And again, for right now, we're just going to tape this in place. And can we try to make these kits to where you're just following the natural lines? Um, I don't know if this one's like mine, but my door is about a sixteenth of an inch off from the other door. But we can look and see. We can either measure it or we can look at it. I really like the eyeball um, as long as we're close because again, some of these panels are not always exact. And so again, what we wanna look at is this, is this line here all the way down, make sure that's even. We can also do what I like to do on the body is really just kind of get right next to it. Yep, just like you're doing there and just look right down that body line. You can kind of see if this got any kink. It's only two pieces so that kink's going to be this or this or it's going to be straight. I think we are good to go. All right, so we, we are about uh, two and three eighths from bottom to the bottom of that stripe to the bottom of the door. I mean, I'm going a little bit lower, but as long as you're even all the way down, that's what you want to check. Again, I eyeballed it, got it really, really close, but I do want to make sure this is right. Um, Always confirm your measurements, obviously, before you put this down. Um, but yeah, we are good to go. Two and three eighths all the way down. Everything's lined up good. We're ready to go. Um, so now that I got that in place, I like to leave these pieces of tape because we're going to use those as our marks. Got scissors. And I'm going to go ahead and do this big piece first. But again, now that I want to make sure this is good, I can pull this back. Just kind of hold that in place there. And this will be our lineup there. So like again, hold that there, pull, get a little edge on there. This is a pretty big piece. So I'm gonna actually go top bottom instead of going right left since you've got a lot going on there. I actually could have left that back on there, but I'll make another piece of tape and do that. Just so that doesn't flap around. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this top down. You're going to have a little bit, so once I moved that to two and three eighths down there on the bottom, I saw that this black went up. And it's actually touching that trim. Once this is done and kind of goes into that seam, you're going to be right up underneath there. Goal is not to see any body color. This is going to have a little bit of play in it. If you need to go back and trim it, you can, but you really want to be right up on that. And we are going to feed that into this, into that stripe into that we call that the spear got my scissors uh, I just washed my hands uh, again make sure your hands are clean because you are going to be touching the back side of that vinyl um, we talk about the environment you do not want to do this outside in the sun you don't want to do this in cold weather you want to shoot for about 70s low 70s it'd be great you know this is one of those installs not super difficult but not the easiest as well and again, that soft squeegee, I like to use that and then go back with that hard on it. And again, now that we're up into that spear, we're going to go right up into that. Make sure we're into that recession. So we fed that in there and we're all good. about that excess and tucking that after don't worry about that edge we're going to peel off that transfer we'll soften that up with some heat and get that to roll around that edge what we want to do is make sure this has all got a good tack in there and there was no stress on that 
start. So we did that top side, we're gonna back, work our way back on the bottom. Uh, I was talking about that temperature. Um, yeah, so if you can do this in the garage, great. Um, if you're really worried about um, this install, you know, we always recommend um, a, a wrap, someone that knows how to do wrap installs. Uh, again, this is, we use dry install vinyl. So this is wrap vinyl, uh, which is dry install only. You do not want to install this vinyl wet. But if you have any hesitation, give us a call. We have a link to get you to a 3M certified installer. And again, we do these videos so you can see and decide for yourself. This is something you want to do. Just kind of let that gravity pull that down. I'm putting moderate pressure on there. And now I get to this with the last piece and just hold that out. And again, we're going to go right to that spear. And then I want to feed that in. And you can kind of feel that. Again, you can use that hard edge on that. You just don't want to do that hard edge when this transfer paper is removed. And once that's on there, then you can come back and hit that second piece. And now once that's on, we can go back See all of our tape marks are all lined up. Now we do want to tuck this in before we do the next piece. So we're going to go ahead and get our mask off of here. And this is a little tricky because you're like, where are we going to start from? You've got this side tucked up there. We really need to start from this side. And remember, we're going to pull it against, against the vinyl. And since this isn't it's attached to anything, we're really going to have to just kind of pull this back kind of get that started. I could probably extend that in our production version of this so you can you can tack that onto this piece here and then cut that away. So like I was talking about you don't want to pull directly away from it. need to break this into multiple pieces. You can. And with that dry install, again, you see anything in there, make sure that squeegee is clean. But now you want that soft edge on there. You can go back and any bubbles, you really just push it and it'll come right out. Hopefully we don't have any, but if we have it, I'll show you how to fix it. There's one right there. You see that in the camera, Zach? Another one right here. All right, there's a little bump, bump there. Again, I'm just gonna put my finger on it. Gone, gone, gone. Again, once you go back with a heat gun, anything that you can't see in the camera, you'll see that in person to come up, let that cool, go back with the squeegee, and it comes right out. This should slide right under that weather stripping. You don't have to pull up much, but I'm going to go right under there. So it really is just right to that edge. And then here, we're gonna use that heat gun. Make sure we're not tacked to that paint. What you wanna do is really just loosen that. Let's see if we can just drop that right in there. 
gonna have to open this door to get the rest of this. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this side. Just get that soft. You can bend that around that edge. And like I said, this one's a little trickier. So just wanted to heat that up to roll that top edge in there. get back in on the other side as well on the lower side of this there's a hinge right there Let's see how we look on this side it is it's a little tricky I don't know if you can see in there but you do want to reach in and just make sure that that adhesive is not exposed so all we got to do is just lay that down flat make sure that's wrapped around that back edge again a little tricky but it's doable that may be the hardest part of this door all right so we got that door on there again that a little tricky to get get back behind there to get that down nice and heated or you know heat, soften it so you can tuck that on the back side um, as we fold this up this should match up right in there you've got a very little margin a small margin to tuck that so again as you get up to that just make sure that's even if you have to trim on that going to be a sharp blade go right on the edge of that i would really want to recommend that to be done by a professional but you should not have to do that we're going to do this little small corner which continues the stripe up there to the mirror and that really is just going to as you can see we've got a little bit of overcut so you can tuck that as well and that's going to line up right there to that door this one we can really just eyeball this right in place so we're going to pull that off make this sound easy greg don't mess this up look i'm already wanting to mess this up there we go And this one does leave a little bit of paint showing on the top. It's a little bit higher than that door seam, but it is just a hair. This one, you can just kind of tuck that in there and then let's open that door. It's easy to get this one in there because you're going to have access to that, that area. Again, if you get a little wrinkle in it, this is, you can roll that back up. There's a small, there we go. Roll that back down. There we go. And now all we have left is that lower rocker on that rear door. And again, now that we've got this side down, or that door down, that's our marker. We know to have this line up with this. We've got our, our marks already made in the back. And again, I'm gonna use that squeegee to make our little cut. You can also take a piece of tape just make your mark there, just like that. See how you know where you're supposed to be. And 
and we've got that roll in that um, that seam right there. So we're gonna come up. It shouldn't make a difference. It's really minuscule to have this match up to here, but we'll see what that does. I'm almost positive it's gonna be just fine. Sure, we're lined up. Attack that. Hit that top edge. Come in through that seam. And then we can continue on. There's a little bit there. We are right on. Again, this side, I think we have enough tack. We can grab that. It's the same thing, a little tricky to get this transfer paper off. If I had my blade, it's a little bit easier. Just wanna separate that. And it does, again, this is gonna be rolled into that, into that door. And that's where we want to go back with that heat gun. We're heat that, roll that into that edge. That back door should just touch right on that edge. You can either expose a little paint or you can leave it not, or you can roll it if you want to leave a little bit less on the crease here. And I want to hit that roll first in that spear area because it's got a, what's going to want to crease. So use your thumb, roll that right in. Make sure you want to use that hard edge of that squeegee. I'll seal that right in. Excellent. And so going back, like I said, we just finished this all up. I would go ahead and do the passenger side, but when we're done, we're gonna go back with that heat gun. And ideally, 180 degrees is what you want for that 3M vinyl. You really just need to get this warm, nice and, I mean, you don't want to, and don't want to put this on there and hold that spot. It'll put a gloss mark on that mat. But again, keep that air moving, but we just want to get this nice and, nice and warm. And you can feel when that, that's hot, it's, it's good. But I just want to look for any spots, like there's one right there. One up there on top as well. I'm going to take that off, let that cool for just a second. And then I can go back and just, Push that out, push that out, use that soft squeegee. And you don't even have to go really hard, just go kind of light with it. And make sure that's adhesive is set. Post heating is really necessary when you're on stressed areas. There's nothing under serious stress on this, and maybe a little bit in that spear, but again, we did that and kind of fed that in. But this, going what I'm doing now, is gonna show us if, if there's anything that we missed. That's really about it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the hood. I've done lots of videos on the hoods. You don't think you need to see me do another hood install. Um, if you do, we do have those on the site. Um, and uh, we'll come back and get some video coverage of this all finished up and we'll go over some of those details. All right, guys, hope you guys like it. We just finished it up. Uh, just finished up the passenger side, did the hood. We post heated. This thing is ready to go back to the customer. Um, you know, big shout out to Bronco Outfitters. This is theirs. Um, we've done several kits for them. Uh, and this is one of our newest. We couldn't wait to get it on theirs. Um, I think only one other customer has this. So we're excited to get this one up on the site. Um, again, this will be available as a solid. Uh, and in that solid, what you see in gray is gonna be the body color pinstripe. So that single color is still gonna give you that accent pinstripe with that paint color showing through. If you want to do a two color, this is what this one has. We chose to do that to try to match those wheels as best we could. That, kick, that also goes onto the hood, um, which I think just, it's a great tie-in. Everything flows very well on this. Um, 
again, no matter what the color is, we can match it. We can do something custom for you. Uh, any questions, any of this, give us a call. Be happy to answer anything. See you soon. Thank you.